I have a message for men, but we're not getting there yet. And how do you deal with that? If you're married to someone like, first thing as a man, you got to close that back door up. You got to close that gate. You're not controlling. You're not authoritative. If you're occupying your woman's time or having her time occupied to where she doesn't have time to even let the enemy in. Because what happens is the enemy comes through the back door. The enemy comes when you're not paying attention. And when somebody comes in and they're pouring information into your household that can affect you and you don't know about it, you have an issue. That's the Adam and the Eve tale. Why are you, you not even paying attention to what your woman doing? How is she even out in the garden? How is she not occupied? Why she wasn't doing? So she was just out there chilling and was able to be in a situation that could totally harm your household. You wasn't paying attention. We not up here talking about freedoms and what someone can do. You know, being able to go out with your girls, go out and hang out, you know, have a sister time. They need that and all that. But what's being told, does she have a mind that's being protected when she gets out into the world? When she gets out into the field, is she protected and do she got the information so she won't allow nobody to mess with her mind, mess with her heart, and it's going to mess with your house? What are you putting over her? You know, the Bible talks about washing her with the word. You got to give her truth. You got to give her word. She got to know what's going on when she go out there. So she's not coming in and helping to destroy that household. Who are you allowing to minister to you? Are you ministering to your woman? Or are you letting other people that are foolish minister to your woman? Are you ministering to your woman? Or are you letting other people that are foolish that don't have the information to minister to your woman? And let me tell you this. When you are allowing someone to put something in your woman's dome. And that is going to control your house and the trajectory of where you're going. It's your fault. You are the overseer. You are watching over the land. You are watching over the house. You're supposed to be checking everything that come through that door. You crossing all the T's, as they say, and down all the I's. You are making sure what's going on in your house is beneficial to you and your family. And you can't get so caught up in work that you miss that. Your work is not done when your work day is over. And when you allow a different word and a different ministry to come into your household, you're doomed. You have to oversee the information. You have to be checking what information is coming through. And is it valid to you? We've gotten away from that. And so to be totally honest, a lot of the breakdown in these relationships and a lot of the breakdown in these marriages have a lot to do with what we're allowing people to tell us and say about our spouse, someone that they not even sleeping with, someone that they not even paying bills with. You not even dealing with this person on an intimate level, but you letting somebody come in and tell you what you need to be doing with them. We've also, we have undervalued the action, the moment, the space of having sex with somebody. You are having sex with this person. In the physical sense, you're be in the spiritual sense, you should become one. In the physical sense, you should become one. It's symbolic of what's happening to you guys and what you represent spiritually. So you are creating life and manifesting things from there. You should be praying and manifesting things in the same sense. How are you letting somebody come and tell you what to do with somebody that you're doing that with? When I was younger, I didn't understand it. But now that I've gotten older, I get it. All the people that you are asking advice of, listen to this. Come a little closer. Turn up, turn up the, the, the volume on this if it's low. 
all of the people that you should be listening to if you have any dialogue about your relationship should mimic the relationship you have. If there is a man and a woman in that house, then there need to be men and women that you are watching that have a core, a dedication to be married to each other and never divorce. If you're going to have any type of therapeutic com uh, conversation, that's the place that it needs to take place in. How is someone who is single waking up every day in a space of bitterness, loneliness, going to tell you what to do in your marriage? And I know that there's uh, bitterness and loneliness because if they're not telling you, stay where you at, this is going to get better for you. If they're not doing that, then they're definitely in a space of bitterness. How can someone who isn't doing it or in a position tell you what to do? And I'm very specific in what I said. A man and a woman. The only marriage that's acknowledged is man and a woman. That's the only marriage you should be looking at. It can't be marriages that mimic that uh, that are mimicking marriages. So no, two women, two men, they can't help me in what I'm trying to do in my marriage. If it's two women together, they can't help me. If it's two men, they can't help me. They have something that is totally different from what I'm doing. The one thing about these days that we live in, it is about truth and telling the truth. And the, everyone won't, won't accept the truth. Everybody won't be able to handle it. And here's the thing. You shouldn't be even concerned with that. You have to isolate your relationship. You have to isolate your relationship. Sometimes you have to be isolated. So you can get a better understanding from God and what he really wants you to do. You have to isolate yourself and get the right information and ask that you get wise counsel around you. Because let me tell you something. There are people out here that are headed towards destruction and they don't care if you're headed towards destruction. They could care less if you're headed towards destruction. There are people that are watching you progress. You need to listen to this too. Come on. There are people that are watching you progress right now, especially women. You women and y'all friends. It's a woman watching you right now. Have your kids. Have your husband. Don't want you to have it. And can't wait for you to run to her and tell you how many problems you have. And want you to be in misery with her. That's when we talk about misery loves company. That ain't no lie. Because misery, being in misery by yourself is very lonely and it forces you to have to deal with why you're miserable. And a lot of times the miserable haven't dealt with themselves. They're miserable, but they're passing the blame. They're victim. 